Okay, we're back here on day number four, and we want to talk to you now about engaging souls with authenticity and compassion. Here we are again, using that word compassion. It is so very, very important. The Bible says, blessed are the merciful because they will obtain mercy and compassion and mercy. In my understanding, in my humble opinion, is that compassion is necessary in the prophetic thought leader's life. It's very important. Many times when the Lord begins to deal with you and you, you start having this intercourse with the Lord, it, it will cause you to be overwhelmed. Sometimes it can also cause you to uh, begin to uh, be more interested in the gift than you are about the audience that you have to bear the word of the Lord to. And so as a Christian prophetic thought leader, we always want to remind you as we said in the previous uh, uh, blog, is that you definitely always want to be authentic. I cannot put enough emphasis on this uh, fact of being authentic. The Lord, during the pandemic, 2020, the Lord spoke to me very clearly and said, Richardson, pivot to the right side of change. And then also he told me to be aggressive, authentic, and intentional. Now I know some may think of the word aggressive in a negative connotation, but um, the Bible tells us that we must be about the Father's business. Jesus was about the Father's business. God so loved the world that he gave and he was aggressive about redeeming the world back to himself. And so one of the things that I, I'm finding, uh, particularly in this, uh, this world of artificial intelligence and science and all the other things that we're uh, being bombarded with, authenticity is what the world is looking for. most important thing in the weeks, years, months, decades to come as the Lord tarries is authenticity. I cannot put enough emphasis on that. Be you. You don't have to be me. Don't You don't have to be like someone else. Be authentic. Be authentic in everything that you do and you'll be amazed at how many doors will open up, how many people will recognize um, that you are a Christian prophetic thought leader. So it's very important to embrace uh, this in a way of vulnerable, being vulnerable, um, sharing your own spiritual experiences, the things that you have being willing to share your own spiritual experiences and challenges that we all face. Every one of us face challenges. And Jesus, when he rose from the dead, he came to his disciples and he came into the house and he showed them his scars. He let them see that it was in fact he, the very one who went to Calvary showed them his scars. People are looking for authenticity. And as a Christian prophetic thought leader, I encourage you to be authentic, um, to be willing, to be vulnerable, to be transparent in all that you do. And you'll be amazed at how the Lord will open up doors. The second one is uh, compassion. And I keep coming back to this word compassion. I cannot put enough emphasis on, on it. Years ago, man of God, mentored me, a great friend of mine, Bishop Keith McLeod of London, England. And the way that this man of God was able to move in the gifts of the Spirit, uh, I've never seen anyone be able to do this at all. He was truly and is truly a prophetic thought leader, in my opinion. And one of the things that stood out to me more than anything, after the signs, wonders, miracles, angels, and just a, a phenomenal move of God. I've never seen anything like it to this date. And one of the things that struck me was his compassion, his tenderness, his ability to connect with his audience to a place where it wasn't about him, but was all about the Lord. And when you're sold out as a thought leader, you extend Christ with the compassion, the love of God. Again, God so loved the world that he gave himself. Okay, And learning to meet people where they're at Instead of trying to speak to them in a condescending way, speaking down to them, learn to meet them where they're at. And one of the reasons why I'm a Christian today is because all the other things I've tried to do in terms of religion, I had to do something in order to earn it. But when I found out that God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, when that became rhema to me, it became a prophetic thought that resonated in my mind. That's what led me to surrender to the Lord. And people are looking for people with compassion.
ask you, and please, whatever you do, as the Lord begins to provoke you in this thought concept of being a Christian prophetic thought leader, and he begins to uh, use you in this way, learn how to be compassionate. Can't put enough emphasis on that. Guidance. Guidance is critical. Guidance. Guidance through the prophetic insight uh, as you walk through uh, the things of God and you go through these experiences of addressing all your doubts, your fear, shame, guilt, condemnation. This is the reason why we offer in our book and our workshop uh, and my, on our website. Um, sign up for my website. Sign up for the workshops. I teach through the book uh, of the Office of the Prophet. The second edition uh, is published on Amazon. The first edition, I think you can still get it too. Um, but uh, I've learned that it's very important to find someone that you can walk with, someone you can connect with. We have a team called Boots on the Ground. We pray every Saturday on Boots on the Ground on the Clubhouse platform. Join us there, connect with us there, and find somebody that can walk with you, some, somebody that can um, help you in your areas, uh, your blind spots. Every one of us have blind spots. Every leader, I don't care who you are, every one of us have blind spots where we really need some help and seeing some things that we may not be able to see. So it's very important to uh, be willing to allow someone to help you. Remember the passage of scripture in the book of Acts, the Ethiopian eunuch who was in charge of all the queen, Can uh, the queen of Ethiopia, Queen Candace, he was in charge of her treasure. He was coming down from Jerusalem. He was a Jew and he was literally worshiping God up in Jerusalem and coming back down was reading the scripture. As he was reading the scripture, he came. Uh, Philip came to the chariot and he asked him, he said, do you understand what you're reading? And the Ethiopian eunuch, a man of great authority, he said, how can I accept someone guide me? One of the things that I found so critical, particularly when God begins to deal with you, begins to take you into the depths and the corridors, corridors of his word, the very heart of God, as a Christian prophetic thought leader, it is important that you get someone who is seasoned, work, work with someone who is seasoned and that will help you in your journey. It's very, very important. Then practical application. Oh, God. Uh, I, I'm telling you, it, 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 we don't have to be weird. We don't have to be uh, try to make, our, make it about us. We don't have to be uh, self-centered, selfish. No, we don't have to be any of that. Just use practical application. Keep it simple. The Bible says, uh, where the, Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And Christ, the simplicity that is in Christ, when you learn how to function on a high level as a Christian prophetic thought leader, you provide practical steps to people and help them be able to understand and to integrate into their faith in their daily life, teaching them how to do uh, what it means, or teaching them what it means to be a Christian. Uh, in a in a wholeness of in, in the wholeness of the word, not just on the weekend, not just on a uh, two days out of the week, but living out your faith boldly, loudly before the world. And then the next one is empowerment. Empowerment uh, again, sharing resources, uh, helping people to um, uh, to connect with the resources that you have, the access to the various things that you have. We have a lot of things that we do in our ministry um, here in Denver and across the country, um, that we have been a blessing to many people and we share those resources. And so as a prophetic thought leader in your circle, wherever you're at, uh, whatever your ecosystem may be, learn how to empower others by affirming them in unique purpose, uh, teaching everyone that they're important, empowering individuals, uh, helping them step by step in their God-given calling uh, teaching them how to contribute to the gospel mission. So very important. So as a recap, five things that we talked about today. And it is authenticity, compassion, guidance, practical application, and empowerment. All right, God bless you. I'll see you in a minute.